Hello. This is a video on how to make your automated table. It's real simple. This actuator that is going to be your dump has to have a five and a half inch slot lengthwise and exactly the width of this actuator. Because when it goes down, it leans forward. It'll lean. And our actuator. One. You want it tight. You don't want any, you don't want any slop in this thing. You want it tight. So that would be five eighths. We're redoing it. Burn an inch, come to the one inch. Burning an inch means lose that thing, start at one. Five eighths of an inch. Again, burn an inch, five eighths. This is the rocker that you will be using, but it's got a beautiful straight edge here. We're going to this is our five and a half. Across. Again, even if you don't have a level or a square, you can use the rocker on the actuator from the machine. Then you get a scale saw and cut that out. I always like to make X's to the piece that needs to go. I'm gonna go get a skill saw and we'll be back. Just cut that a little in on the line because you can always cut more. Once you cut too much, you can't add. And a little trick how to get this out. It's heaven and hell, baby. Put it in there to make sure it fits. Got a little tight, so we're gonna bring it in. You want it perfectly tight. Let me try it again. Boom, perfect. Now this thing's gonna lean on the dump. When it comes down, this will lean. So you must have this slot to take your industrial deck and turn it automated. That's basically the roughest thing out of this whole deal, is just making a slot. So, we will be back. We're back. So basically, here's your slot. Oh slot to where when it dumps it's going to lean forward it's going to lean forward and what we're going to do next is it attach a pedestal to mount the bottom of the actuator 
We're back. Now each actuator pack will have these. A little tip, put your pin in the actuator. Caught a pin. And once you go to set this, what we discussed before, kind of where that just sets there. And right down here. This is where we set it. So I'm gonna set these screws in this sawhorse. And by the way, this is a Husky sawhorse that you can pick up at any Home Depot for, I think they were $22. This was a solid cord door. I think it was $22. So with everything, it was like under 60 bucks to do this. And you can buy a collapsible show table like I use it to shows you go to Home Depot they fold in half they're like three by fives the same scenario cut a slot and I just attached this part to the folding lake that comes down we're probably going to do a video of that uh, but they're the same tables that we use at all the shows I'll be back all industrial decks can be on there actually using this as demos for demos oh let's pan up now we're in this area gotta get the phone first thing we're gonna do is flip this over Damn, some shake on this. We ran who knows how many LBs through this thing the other day. Put your legs down. Get your rocker. Take the top. Two bolts out with your Allen wrench. Place the rocker where the, you just pulled the screws and put them back in. That easy. You want to get like a couple screwdrivers because we put them on the outside of the rocker so it doesn't roll over on you. Get it in position where it's going to be on your actuator up front. Simply roll it over. Our leg went a little crazy. Take these, take these tools, take one, put it on the outside of the other rocker, screwdriver, anything. Because once you lift this end up, it will rock on you. Okay. Get centered where we need to be. Heck, we're there. Now, it's real important that underneath here, we get our pin set. Get her in there. Now we're going to hook up some actuators. This is your power source. It's basically idiot proof. The jacks only fit one jack. So here is your foot pedal. This is your foot pedal. Again, this is a multi pin, it goes on the top. Here's your foot pedal for up and down. Brown to red. Blue to black. That ought to be easy to remember. Black and blue, baby. And then you'll have your right polarity for the pedal reading. And there we'll go down. Once you get up, once you come up here. I like to have it a little high so the bud if it goes to roll off and you aren't done you can kick it up and your bud will stay on the table. So I think so it cannot rock back and forth. See how the, it leans? It's so important for you to have that slot there. You have to have the slide. 
See how it's coming back up? It's coming back up. This thing leans forward. You got six inches. Take a Sharpie and measure three inches and bring it down right to there. I know exactly where they go, so I'm not worried about it. And you do it halfway. The reason be, you start with it left, that will be level. When you push it this way, three inches, it rocks that way when it comes back. These actuators mount to the little holding pattern. Take this nut off. Furthest one before the housing. Just take it off. Real important, you want to leave it this way with the 45 so when you get any rocking, you have a space there. If you start rocking it on like this, it's going to bind up on you. Okay, your brackets bolt right on. Get your actuator. Remember to extend it three inches to get to your center point because it's real important to have this deck level. You should have it level. Start. I didn't have enough distance to hold this, so basically, just going to attach this. Come down. Piece of cake. Again, we're at our halfway point. Come out to where it's going to sit. Be sure to turn the 45 in so it has room to lean. Put your pin in. Damn phone and quit ringing. Everybody wants them damn trimmers. Come around here and boom. We've sold so many of these units. I should say sold so many units, the industrial that the guys wanted the automated that we had to make a this video so you guys can assemble. Again, boom, pretty easy. Goes for the rock. See that pulls it all the way forward, rock. Then you go for the dump. I'm going to show you just how important that slot is. If you do not have the slot in your table for the bow, if you do not have that slot in that table and just go up and down, the actuator will sustain damage. And that's it. And that's the automated. Six pounds every 20 minutes. Oh yeah.